Welcome guys. Piston installation. As you can see, I cleaned this piston with my el elbow grease. Very good stuff. Recommended. I'm just gonna show you how to do on one piston. I'm gonna do all six because it's the same exact thing to do. Uh, piston is cleaned and rings are installed the rings installation is the same as ring removal just the reverse process what you do if you don't have a tool you just spread the rings not too much because they're gonna break just spread the rings lift them up and again and again that's very important thing usually probably it applies to any car any engine there's going to be manual with your new uh, ring pack it's going to be saying this uh, each uh, ring lock it has to be 120 degrees from another one so if this one second ring if this one is here the first should be somewhere here and the third somewhere here so it's like Mercedes-Benz uh, badge one two three corners around it's not gonna you're not gonna achieve perfect uh, perfect 120 degrees but try to do that before you compress the ring so I'm not now I'm gonna try to set 120 why is it like that because if you align all the all the gaps in one row there's big chances of uh, compression loss so you just want to avoid that so one is here one is there and the bottom is here however this one is a uh, four pieces uh, ring so you can do another another different angle for the oil ring okay so now you need that tool which is a ring compressor I'm looking for lubrication light oil same as for honing I can do the same thing on the walls not too much release the tension put it on top try to do it evenly I think the ring should be compressed. Also remember about or orientation. It can't be this way or that way. You probably have your markings. And also remember in this engine, same as N54, intake valves are bigger than the exit. So if you look at it for a minute, you're gonna see that 
that distance is smaller so that means that these two valves are bigger and this distance, distance is bigger so these two valves are smaller so intake is here exhaust is, is there so I know on the block that's the intake side uh, also uh, bearing same as the crankshaft they can't be mixed up they have special the corners have a special groove and the notch this is how you place them you can lubricate them and of course this is not new bearing just a demonstration Now something soft like wood this ring compressor needs to be flush with the cylinder uh, with the block and that's how you compress the rings and install the piston so now piston uh, is in top, top, uh, uh, top dead center, sorry. So I'm going to push it a little bit down. And you can rotate the, the block. You can rotate the block and install the bearing cap. I didn't do any markings, but with connecting rod uh, bearing caps, it's easy because these are cracked uh, connecting rods. That means it was made from one piece and the bottom was cracked, so it won't fit the other way because the crack f creates a pattern which which uh, gonna fit together only one way. And another another thing I said that before you can use uh, these bolts twice they have to be replaced each time same as the cylinder head bolts and procedure for that torquing procedure for this connecting rod is 5 newton meters all of them then 20 newton meters and again uh, 70 degrees angle so when you finish that you're not gonna be able to uh, crank the crankshaft with the pistons installed with your hand so don't worry about that that's normal because you did honing you have new piston rings so there's a big tension so each time you're gonna be installing uh, more pistons there's gonna be more resistance though so don't worry about rotating uh, by hand from now on because you won't be able to don't worry about that you you won't be able you will be able to re rotate the crankshaft with the s uh, spanner or ratchet so yeah when you finish installing you can proceed uh, with further installation of as you can see I installed all the pistons I didn't clean all of them I did one because I'm not rebuilding this, this engine so I, I j did just one to show you it's possible to clean them with with just uh, basic things like brush time and some uh, cleaning detergents like kitchen uh, uh, liquid di dish washing liquid and uh, plenty of uh, elbow grease so as you can see the piston are giving resistance so because the plug was just honed so they're not rotate rotating as free as you think as they should but 
that will progress it will get better over time when the honing marks gonna start to be smoother and they're gonna disappear over time so on the beginning when you assemble the engine when you're gonna run your engine you might feel that uh, your MPG is not still not great because of that because there there's a resistance on the on the piston and uh, on the cylinder walls so thanks for watching and next video I just gonna install the head and not gonna be using gasket because I like I said not rebuilding this engine I, what I gonna do I gonna install the head to show you how to do timing on this engine so thanks for watching